Hello and welcome! I'm Mitz Piano, and you're watching... And you're watching... WHY AM I PLAYING X4?! But yeah, why am I playing Mega Man X4? Well, because it has a nice level in it. And yes, I know I'm doing this, like, one day after my struggle in X3, but look, we got stuff to do, okay? So, yeah. Places to go. To the snow base, where we can meet. He protects the secret weapon which lies inside the snow base. Ready. I love how this first thing we see is this corpse ice sculpture, I'm not sure which, of Blizzard Buffalo. The guy who gave me so much trouble yesterday. So this is not a 100% fresh file because I went to another stage and got the shoes. Listen. Mega Man X needs good shoes, okay? Um, these come with a hover function in addition to the air dash, but we can't air dash straight up anymore. Which is honestly fine by me, because the straight up air dash was... Um, not very helpful last time. Okay, I think I need another weapon to scale this, so we need to go lower path. Oh, is this like the slippery slopes in Blizzard Buffalo? Oh, this is going to be the whole thing over again, isn't it? But unlike Blizzard Buffalo, I actually have beaten this boss with Buster only before. Which means... It means I really wish I could get that health max up. But I can't. I don't have a weapon that can break the ice. But it means that, yeah, this is usually the one that you should start X, X4 on. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Also, note the major graphical upgrade here. This was um, produced for PlayStation rather than Super NES. And honestly, it still looks pretty good. We can expect more graphical improvements as we go on. But some would argue that this is the pinnacle of the X series. With the other X games just not being able to quite match it. But, you know, that's just a matter of personal opinion. And it's not like you viewers are really getting a fair look at each of these, because I'm only showing the ice levels. Okay, rising ice, so like... Just fall. Just that is a lovely scene in the background. Snowy forest. Just fall, she says, and then look what happens. Um, thank you for the generous checkpoint. Okay, so fall, but fall carefully. Those hover boots are gonna come in handy. I thought about getting some max health ups, but I don't think we need them. If I eat my words on that, then yeah, I'll do what I did yesterday. I'll get max health ups, and if that isn't enough, I'll go easy mode. Uh, here's our mid-boss, by the way. 
This thing looks pretty dangerous. And those icicles, oh yeah, those things were primed to fall. I mean, you can tell because they're not pre-rendered like the background is. Oh, hello, this is different. You turned into a mine. And then the claw again. Okay, so your pattern is like not that bad. It's weird for a Mega Man level to have such serene music. I appreciate it. This place has nice music. Ah! 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 I was close. And again, this game is generous with checkpoints. I appreciate that. I just realized that's Chill Penguin in the ice here. And they really like showing off all the ice bosses we've already beaten, huh? I could not tell what Mega Man said. Sorry, but X. Uh, edgy Mega Man. He's not that edgy. Ooh, right in the face. Ready. Yeah, so then what's this frozen thing? Can't tell. Bonk. Bonked again. I think mine form is a little easier because I don't think you have to hit it from one side. Maybe I'm wrong though. Clink, clink, clink. Claw is going to get me. Yep. Ugh. Mission failed, but... Um, yeah. You know the drill. I'll be back. What? Those platforms can kill you? Uh oh. Dead again. Upgrade up there, but I don't think I can reach it. It's another thing that I need a specific weapon for. And I do not have that weapon, because I would need to get this guy's weapon and then do weakness order first. Mega Man X, early game, nightmares.
It's not that bad. Alright, the claw. Let's give it another shot. I have no clue how to avoid that. But then again, I have no clue how to avoid a lot of things. Why am I not surprised? Okay, so yes, you stop it. You don't try to avoid it. You shoot it in the face and stop it from charging it. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. What is with ice bosses charging at me? And this isn't even the proper boss, this is the mid boss for this level. I'm gonna go find some health upgrades. See you later. <laughs> and we're back. Um, I only got three life ups as opposed to the four I got for Blizzard Buffalo, but like, I think that should be enough. I hope, and if not, I will hit the easy mode switch. I'm all in at this point, aren't I? That, that's so much simpler, Mizzy. Um, still can't get that because we still do not have the wall buster. That's not what it's actually called. That's just my nickname for the obligatory wall destroying weapon that you need to get all the hidden upgrades. Just so we're No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that was close. And it still wasn't enough, damn it. Next one I'll do, I'll probably just get the life up so it's part of prep. I mean, it's very obvious that I need them. I don't know how I finished Chilled Penguin without any. But yeah, more room for error, really helpful. Especially when, you know, you don't have the weaknesses yet. I promise I will showcase a weakness for at least one of these five. Possibly more. It's just that, um, when I first played these, well, with the exception of Blizzard Buffalo, who I just really didn't want to go through the trouble of getting his weakness again, because early game Mega Man in X3 is especially annoying. Um, but Chill Penguin and Frost Walrus were the first ones I got when I first played um, X1 and X4, respectively. So, you know, I knew I could do it before, I know I can do it again. Okay, extra health. Helped with moral support, at least. Ready. 
Anyway, now we're getting into the deep snow base. The music is turning even more soothing. And we have metals, metals, metors. I have no idea what the proper translation of that name is. I've heard all three of those. Okay, I think some of these have mines in them, yes. So, gotta be careful which ones we drag. Yeah, because some of them have enemies in them, too. Like the aforementioned Metals, Met-whatevers. All according to plan. Now, I'm pretty sure this is designed so that you can break every single one of these and still get through. I mean... It is, in fact, kind of cruel to design an area with breakable terrain and not do that. And also, you might find stuff hidden in the... Um, in the eyes. This is a weapon energy tank. It's completely useless to us because we have no weapon energy. <laughs> But theoretically, it could provide some use if I were to... Oh! That's honestly gorgeous. That's amazing. Just freeze over the whole area. But I probably should try to prevent them from doing that. I believe I can if you kill it before it does the thing. This, the... Uh... But that's okay. These things make wonderful ice sculptures. Yeah, floors turn slippery when that happens. So I think the trick is, those things will always drop in the same spot. So like... It's just a matter of changing the pre-rendered background to the other pre-rendered, icier background. And like, freezing all the enemies on screen. I don't know what that was. Might have been weapon energy. But we're here! Warning! What is this supposed to be? Some sort of lab? They sent a kid like you after me? I promise to end this quickly. So Frost Wallers is big. Bigger even than Blizzard Buffalo. But unlike Blizzard Buffalo, he's um, pretty slow when he's not doing the slide. That slide knocks you off the wall, by the way, so... We want to use a similar strategy to um, Blizzard Buffalo, but like, with a little better timing. Really, though, he's not that bad. I promise this is not going to be a repeat of what happened yesterday. But that doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to one-shot this either. I like that we can break these. I don't like that one just dropped on my head. Okay. This is why I got the air dash, because that's going to help us dodge stuff.
you practically need air dash to actually jump from the wall over him and not crash into him like that. Thankfully, it's really easy to get. It's like just in plain sight in one of the other stages. Not quite chill penguin levels of easy to find, though. What? I stepped on a spike trap that I didn't even see. Okay. Why did I stop charging? Why did I think that was a good idea? Got him down to half health with no damage. And still somehow managed to avoid that. I think this might be the run. But I mean, nothing is certain. Oh no, this was the run. See ya, Frosty. Generates a huge ice block that acts as a shield. May also be used to trap enemies before dissipating. So, yeah, mission completed. Now give me just one moment. Because, once again, um, I want to show off the charged version of it. So, oh, where is that? First off, the weapon. It just makes a static block of ice. It's not really a shield. Um, but you could definitely, like, set a trap for fast-moving enemies to crash into. And that's what the, um, the boss who's weak to it, that's the key to him. But also, the charge version, much more majestic. Drop those icicles everywhere. Now, we're not actually done. I got another thing, because the thing about X4 is that it actually has two playable characters. So yes, I did all this prep with X and with our new guy, Zero. Zero isn't actually a new character. He's been X's ally in um every game since X1, but this is the first time he's properly playable for the whole game. And he has a new, more melee-oriented moveset. Ready. So, yeah. Check it out. The Z-Saber. It's a lightsaber. That, that is exactly what it is. Ow. Get out of here. So, yeah. 
Um, he's a bit harder than X because... Um, because... What was I thinking about? Right. Because of his shorter range, but he can do some cool stuff. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to play with just X or Zero, so you're getting both. Um, Zero is playable in several future X games. We may see him again, we may not. But I definitely wanted to show him here because this is his playable debut. I'm sure some nitpicker is going to go, oh, it's not really his playable debut. He was in X3 or whatever. Which, yeah, he's playable in the intro of X3. Is he playable for the rest of the game? I don't know. But anyway, in the intro of X3, he just uses X's moveset with all the upgrades already co collected. This game is the one that gave him his own moveset. I am suffering without Air Dash. Um, Zero does get Air Dash as a technique, but he has to get it from a boss, and it's actually the boss that's weak to Cross Walrus' weapon, so yeah, we're not doing that today. So yes, the weapon Zero gets from bosses, again, melee-oriented moveset, are different, and I will be showcasing the one we get um, after we beat Frost Wallers again. Alright, I want to slice this thing up. Nice thing about Zero's attacks is they usually do damage more quickly than the Axe. Because, I mean, we don't have to wait on charge shots. We can just go right in, tear this thing to shreds. I did get all the health ups I got as X with Zero too because um, I knew I was going to need them. But it's not over yet. Okay, so this part was pretty easy with X. I can't imagine it being more difficult with Zero. I could probably grab the weapon tank again, which is even more useless for him because a lot of his techniques don't use weapon energy. No problem. I forgot I can't air dash. Still no problem. Uh, yeah, Frost Walrus is gonna be a little painful without air dash, but you gotta make do with what you can get, and you can't get air dash until after you beat the guy who's weak to Frost Walrus' technique. A technique which I found I very much needed when I fought him as Zero. Oh, yeah, okay, so killing them before they freeze over the area does work. It makes traversal a little easier, but it also means the area isn't as pretty. Ah, the sacrifices we make for expediency. Uh-oh. I'm fine. Slash up those nice kills. And those frozen met whatever they are. Alright, Frosty, coming for ya.
Next time we do something like this, I'm not going to put all the Mega Man levels so close together. I forgot how difficult this is. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already. Oh, that does it. You're going down. Yeah, slicing up. That did not go the way I wanted it to. Yeah, that's a lot harder to dodge for zero. But I think you can do this. It's not over yet, as the zero says. Wonder if I can dash under him when he jumps like that. What? That's a movie he didn't use on X. I've never seen that before. Yeah, because, like, the way we fought him with Axe isn't really going to work here. We got to get up close and personal. And this is why Zero is the more difficult character. But I will not back down. Seems like he doesn't jump all the time when he does that. Huh. Oh, that was a jump. Hmm. Once again, the problem is, like, entirely down to this boss being really big. But anyway, I'm gonna keep savoring this loser and... <laughs> and die, that's what. So I think he was doing, like... Make a big ice shard and then punch it to send smaller shards all over the room? I don't know. Oh hey, there's the weapon tank! We got it after all! It's useless! Not a great start. sure if I was killed by the icicle or by him advancing into me. There! Dodge under work! Oh my gosh. The problem is sometimes he jumps, sometimes he doesn't. And if he doesn't jump, I have no effective way to dodge that while staying in melee range. And I desperately want to stay in melee range because, I mean, look at how low his life bar is already. See ya! Nice pose. You won. Down plus special move button while jumping. 
A dive attack effective against surface enemies. Don't need to save because we're basically done for today. And I don't need to switch to 100% file either because Zero doesn't get um, armor upgrades like X does. But there it is! Ice Spear, Downward Jump. Let's try it out on something. Yeah, I guess it doesn't work on you because you are an ice guy. Well, that's a way to end this video! Okay, see you tomorrow for another ice level.